boys and girls, my friends, welcome to the Pounce Headball 2 podcast. We'd like to welcome you for episode number two. We have a great show for you tonight. And if you want to jump right into the questions, they will always be in the description below, or you can just click on your mouse to jump to the question. I tried to break the video down or the episode into sections so you can find your questions so you don't have to watch the whole thing if you're not interested. Hopefully you will be. And uh, yeah, great show for you. This is episode two of the installment. Hope to keep it going. Had a very good response on the first episode. So I really hope that it, um, that it continues. Uh, please do subscribe and like the video to keep me motivated to answering your questions. I think this is one of the only shows um, regarding this game where questions are actually answered. And if I don't have the answers to the question, I will try to find them. So if you have questions for episode three, which I'm already working on, feel free to post them in the comment section. If I've already answered them, I will refer you to the video. And if it needs more clarification, I will definitely mention that in episode three. So let's get right into it. We've got eight questions today. Big ups. All right, let's tackle question number one for today's episode, which is coming from a good friend of mine, Vast Dogs. He's got a great channel. Stay tuned after this question. I want to show you some of his channel material. Very good. So let's read the question. It's actually a very long question. Very good one. So let's do this together. Well, hello, my friend Pounce, and welcome back. I have also a question you must investigate. A few players already unlocked Flash Pank. <laughs> paid, of course. My question is, I already bought three times eight paid scratch card, and I have like 150 out of 300 cards. How much do I have to pay more to unlock? <coughs> And something more, if I unlock 3 out of 300 level 1 cards, I can complete the rest cards for upgrading to 7, buying mega packs, all the 2,200 cards, paid in scratch. Thanks a lot. Great video. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> we need to dissect this question because there are many individual things to talk about. Maybe for him, it's, um, you know, it's an easy question because he's an, he's an experienced gamer and some of us are experienced, others aren't. So we really need to take it, you know, bit by bit. I'm going to try to expand on this. So let's take the first bit. Well, hello, my friend Pounce, and welcome back. Thank you very much. I was never gone. I was on the download. Never gone. I have a question you must investigate. So I'll try to be your Sherlock Holmes. Let's try to see. Few players already unlocked Flashbang. Paid, of course. So let's focus on this bit of the question, right? The character in question is not Flash Punk, but Flash Punk. And some of you might recognize Flash Punk, others might not, especially those who play against bots. It's the green one. So, you know, it was announced on Twitter on the 21st of April 2021 that characters at level 7 were coming out, right? And uh, <coughs> I don't have the date with me, but I think it was a few weeks later they said and announced that level 7 was ready. And since that day, I pretty much always face Flash Punk. That's the green one. And the question of our friend Vast Dogs concerns this, this character. Now, if you go on the store and you click on single cards, this is what the character looks like from level 1 to level 6. Now, obviously, uh, this is just for illustration purposes. I'm not going to mess around with, with buying skill cards for, you know, a little more than half a million uh, manager cash. But this is what the character looks like. And that's what he is talking about. <clears throat> so let's go over the next, the second half of the question. My question is, I already bought three times eight paid scratch and I have like 100 of, uh, of 150 out of 300 cards. How much more do I have to pay to unlock them? I have a video explaining why sometimes you do not receive cards for a certain character. It's a very detailed video. I encourage you because sometimes you have, you know, let's say three or four characters and you really want cards for one character and you're at level one or level two, whatever it might be. And then you see that you get cards for other characters. I have a great video explaining that. So please do take a look at it. So going back to the question now, here you scratchers as can be seen on a picture, right? So... <clears throat> um, 2,190 cards gives you level six. It's a scratch king. So from what he says, he paid the scratch king at $1.40 for a total of three days because in one day you get eight. So he got 24 in total, right? So let's go back to the question now. Um, I have like 150. How much do I have to pay to unlock? So here we take the 150 cards that he has and we divide that by 24 packs because that's what he said. He said he has 150 cards and he paid for 24 packs. And that gives you, 
6.22 flashpoint cards, right? That's the average number of, of, of cards per pack. Now we can do the, the rest of the mathematics because, you know, 150 out of 300 is exactly 50%. So, you know, you would do 150 cards divided by 625, exactly the same number that we got 24 packs. It's an easy calculation because it was half. So for fast talks, he would have to, you know, scratch grosso modo 24 more packs, right? So if we do that, you know, 24 packs at $1.40, we get $33.60, you know, so total character, he already paid $33.60, he still got to pay $33.60. So unlocking the character at level one right now, based on the mathematics and what I explained to you, would cost him about $67.20. Now, since it is scratch card, he might be unlucky and we're dealing with Massimo here. So this isn't the best case scenario, but it could spend as much as three times that. So, you know, <clears throat> we're looking at 3360. It might take him 75 cards to unlock that or maybe less. So at the worst case scenario, he'd be at, at, at $100 or plus. So this is the mathematics for Vast Dogs on the best scenario, 3360, uh, because we go by the trend, worst case scenario, 100, right? And something more, if I unlock 300, going back to the question now, if I unlock 300 out of 300 cards level one, I can complete the rest cards for upgrading to seven, buying mega packs and all. So, or unlock only in paid scratch. So, paid scratch being a game of chance here, it tells you that the top price is 2,190 cards, but he's not going to get that. Now, let's, let's be honest, you never get the top thing that, 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 that they advertise. You'll get some things, but I've never seen someone get that. So, once Vazdok unlocks the remaining 150 cards, he no longer needs to go to the Scratch King. Of course he can <coughs> to get some cards, but if he starts opening Mega Packs and Legendary Packs, once you get to that level where you see that it's not purple and pink anymore, you are up to, you know, potentially getting them through Mega Packs and Packs, taking into consideration the sequence in which characters are being unlocked. So I will now provide you before we knock off, because I know this took a lot, 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 large chunk of, of, of the episode because it's a very good question. Some of tips, you might want to monitor player of the match every day. Sometimes they come up with offers saying, you know, like here right now, I think we have Doom Lord, if I'm not mistaken, get a few cards of Doom Lord. So sometimes they will do that on characters. I'm sure this will happen for Flashpunk. You want to check the individual card offers in the store. This is the one where we saw, you know, the, the, the massive uh, cards, 2,000 fans, XP at 600,000 manager cash. Sometimes they will tell you buy an individual card for one diamond, 10 diamonds, and then each card, it increases in value. Sometimes it doesn't. So you want to monitor that. And obviously you want to monitor the market and offers. There are instances where, the, you know, when if you see a card, and it has the total power on top, that means that you will get to that number. So if the number, for example, I don't have the screen in front of me, says, you know, level 74, if you look on your screen and you see that level 74 is level three or level four, you automatically go from not having the car character unlocked to having it at level four. So, you know, um, this is what I would do. Um, I always do that because eventually when there are characters, once you unlock them, once you do unlock them, I mean, once you start the process of unlocking them, which means it appears in your character screen and it's still purple and pink, right? Eventually, Massimo will give you the option in one way, shape or form to get it to level, you know, six or level five or whatever it might be. So it takes patience. You got to be patient, patient. And what I would also do, um, you know, feel free to email Massimo and say, look, I've got 150 cards. Can you come up with an offer? Um, you know, what can you do for me? Money is money. They will, you know, they will probably deal with you. Might not be immediate, but they do respond pretty quickly. I personally would never use scratchers or anything that is um, anything based with chance regarding characters because I want to know what I'm getting. If I just scratch like Vastog, I could get the 2100 cards in the next scratch or it could take me 100 cards. So you don't know how much exactly you're going to be paying, right? So I want to know how much something is going to cost me. If they tell me buy this character, it's going to cost you $40. So be it. I know I'm got to, I've got to spend $40 and I get it. Be very careful unlocking characters or accessories with scratch cards or anything that has to do with luck because you never know how much you're going to spend. And obviously Massimo wants you to go this because it's more profitable for them. It's absolutely fine. I'm not criticizing the techniques. I'm just speaking from the gamer's perspective. You want to know how much you're paying for something. Um, but when you're depending on the platform, if it's not stated clearly that it's going to cost X amount of money, you could be in for a big surprise. So I hope I answered your question. We're going to move on to the next one. Right, let's tackle question number two. 
which comes from Chloe Kane, who wrote, how do you collect your diamonds when it's full like the box thing? I did um, write Chloe a response asking if she was talking about the diamond bank. Uh, she didn't respond to me or he, I don't know if it's probably she, Chloe, let's just call Chloe. And uh, I think Chloe was making reference to the diamond bank, which should be here on your screen. And um, anytime Massimo releases a feature, I strongly encourage you to tap on the information bar. There will be some information on the product or the feature. And if it's major enough, it will be on their website. So let's just take a look real quick at, at, at what the website says on Massimo. Uh, player experience, headboard to FAQ gameplay. The diamond bank is a safe that keeps the diamonds you have earned in it. It fills with the diamonds that you have collected from the goals you have scored in winning your matches. So every time you score a goal, you will see the diamonds pop up in the bank after the match. Starting from the first level after each match you have won, you can see how many diamonds you have collected. Now, when this feature came, automatically I said, whoa, you know, diamonds. Everyone clicks the first level, you know, and obviously that's a, that, that, that's a, that's a marketing technique. Anytime you get the first thing for free, supposedly you're going to want to come more for it. Now, obviously, as from the second level, you do have to pay. Unfortunately, I'm at level four. I did purchase three levels. In hindsight, this is probably one of the dumbest purchases I've done on this. It wasn't a whole lot of money, but I do regret it alongside scam of the match. So not something for me, but let's keep on reading what they say. You can collect your diamonds from the diamond bank when it reaches 50% of its capacity. Um, if you click on the diamond bank, you will see that you have a progression bar. So essentially when it's at 50%, you can collect it. You collect it at level one. Here the picture shows you level one. If it was level two, you would see a dollar sign or a euro sign or a currency sign, meaning you would have to pay for it. So essentially what you need to know is that the first level is free. And after that, each level that you, uh, that you reach is payable. Now the maximum, I think it's 5,200 diamonds. We're gonna get there in a second. So once your diamond bank is full, you will have 48 hours to collect your diamonds. If you don't collect them in 48 hours, the bank gets reset. And that's a very good marketing strategy because if it was full all the time, you wouldn't really you know, see the progression bar going up. So what they do is after 48 hours, it resets to zero. And then you know, within three or four matches or 10 matches, whatever it might be, it refills. So you, know, you are constantly psychologically exposed to it. And that does promote vulnerable people to buying it. Now, I have nothing with Massimo's uh, services that they offer. I understand that you're a company and they're providing a service. So I've got my own personal story. I've got my, 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 my budget. That's fine. I don't, I'm not against buying giant diamonds. I would buy them through the offer or the market, which should be here. Um, but, you know, for me, a service like that or a feature like that is totally useless. So your diamond bank will level up as you keep collecting your diamonds. This is the last part of what they say. You can save more diamonds in the diamond bank each level up and collect more diamond per goal. So essentially, as you go up the levels, each goal you score gives you more diamonds. First level diamond bank will be free. We talked about this. So that's why on level one, you will see collect. And after that, you will see a currency sign, which means it is payable. Um, now, obviously, they don't give you a breakdown of how much it's going to cost. Uh, and then again, I think it's a bit of marketing deception from Massimo. Uh, unfortunately, I would have felt more comfortable if they said that level one would cost so much, level two would cost so much up until level 10. So that if someone is interested, they say, OK, well, I want to go to level 10, whatever, you know. But having no prices as you level up is essentially chance. Now, if you have the money for it, it shows you want to do it. That's absolutely fine. Not something for me. I think for me, it was around $5 and something, the level four. Hopefully, I have a screenshot. But I'm not a big feature of this fan. But I hope I answered the question. And I'm pretty sure that Chloe's question was regarding the Diamond Bank. So I hope this is settled. Let's move on to the next question. Before we move on to the next question, I just want to take one minute of your time to talk to you about live gameplay and playing against real players. I do get some requests sometimes, uh, as some of you might know, if you're new to the channel, I primarily play against bots. I do have a few videos explaining how to beat them. It hasn't changed in three years, so I am not going to post new videos regarding this. However, I do have a friend of mine on YouTube who goes by the name of Vastox. He's from Greece. We met um, as we were interacting with each other's channel. Um, he, I guess he's my alter ego. I am more informative and provide suggestions and, and help people with the actual parts of the game. He will be able to actually help you with playing. He plays in Europe. As I said, he's from Greece, plays a lot of good players and he posts a lot of cool videos. He's got so many of them. 
lots of them have a lot of views so if you are interested in having some fun learning some tips he responds to his to to the comments he's very active takes a lot of interest so i strongly encourage you to subscribe to his channel um please do so the link to his channel is going to be available at the bottom of the description of this video help vast dogs get to 2000 subscribers let's move on to the next question All right, here we are on question number three from Yusuf Sheikh, who posted a question on episode one. Thanks a lot for following up again, Yusuf. Got four questions. Uh, I'm going to combine questions one and two because they're talking about bots and bots are massimo robots that you play against. So first question is, does do bots leave the game in the middle once it starts? The answer is yes. I did come up across this yesterday, so I decided to screenshot it. As you can see, I think there was 15 or 20 seconds left. I was up by four goals. Uh, left very derogatory name Massimo will do that sometimes give really awkward names so you know this does happen definitely a bot here 2300 fans level 7 no fan boost just started playing so this is a made up bot I do have a couple of videos that explain to you how to identify bots I'm going to try to put it in the description and maybe even add it here and then I have a second video which explains why that is in terms of pairing so that's very technical the answer is provided by Massimo so I encourage you to watch it. I'm going to try to put the description, the link in the description. And to the second part of the question, does it lag while playing against bots? I mostly play on the mobile network. As you can see here from the question, you know, this was on the Wi-Fi. <coughs> but primarily, I try to play on the mobile network. I have very few interference. The game does not lag for me because I am playing against bots. So it's predetermined. That's why bots pretty much have the same uh, usage of superpowers. Now, I will get disconnected sometimes if I have a long winning streak, even when, if I'm on Wi-Fi or not. So to, answer your, to, to, to give you the answer to your question, technically for me, it never lags while playing bot. So I hope I answered your question. Let's move on to the next one. Right, jumping to question number four right now, again from our friend Yusuf Sheikh. Talking about characters, does Cupid or Cyberjack ever come for event character? Um, the answer would be yes, they have. Have they appeared lately? The answer is no. Um, I do have a very good video on this topic entitled Be Cautious Purchasing Holiday or one of characters. In this case, it was Black Friday and Halloween. Um, this video will answer your question, but I want to give some a brief summary of what of what's going on pertaining to your question. So obviously Massimo will come out with with seasonal characters and a seasonal character is pretty, pretty easy to identify. Um, you usually have your event characters that come during the week, right? So, you know, you have Destruction Lord, Omen, Sky Master. These are these are pretty standard. You will see them quite often and, and you know, and turning around into events. Now, whenever a new character comes out, um, especially from the profit motive for Massimo for you to purchase it, you'll probably see it appear once or twice, you know, within a space of a week or two. So if you don't see them keeping appearing, they're seasonal character. So you should never purchase a character in the beginning when it comes out. You should wait a month. Why? Because if you buy a character and you pay real money, you know, if you unlock it with diamonds or gems, that's a different story. But if you actually pay real money, you want to use that money and, and, and play with it. So typically speaking, event seasonal and holiday characters will be weaker than your, um, you know, your characters such as Omen, Sky Master. I have a phone call. I'm just going to pause the video real quick. I'll be right back. All right, I do apologize about this. Um, my mom's phone rang, so obviously I had to pick it up. So I think I was off uh, seasonal characters being weaker. Yeah, so generally speaking, they will be weaker than your Omen, Sky Masters, and Destruction Lord. So where's the point? The only point I can see to this is that you would, if you purchase it, you would increase your total power of characters, which would make you advance in career mode. I don't like to personally purchase seasonal characters with real money. Um, I do have a pretty bank, big bank balance, so if I have to use some emeralds and coins and whatever, that's fine by me. Um, I am not chasing the career mode per se. I, I'm in the top 10. 
it's fine by me um, you know i'm not eager to be number one because obviously you have to spend a lot of, of real money and i've got over over objectives and goals so um if you are going to purchase a character you want to make use of it now if there is a seasonal character that comes up right and it's pretty pretty strong in nature and you play against real players like in, in europe you know they have a big server a lot of active players so that might be beneficial for them but if you're playing against bots be careful before you purchase a seasonal character you really want to make sure that they are used in the events so i'd wait two weeks four weeks that even might not be enough so it's very ambiguous actually but you can tell if it's a seasonal character because they'll appear for Christmas. You know, you have Santa Claus, Easter, you'll have a bunny, Black Friday, you know, Cupid for, for St. Valentine. So every time there's a seasonal thing, be very careful. So I hope I answered your question. Big ups. Let's move on to the next one. Off to question number five, which is coming from Vishal Rajkumar, who asks a very personal question. But since I'm here to help you guys out, I will be honest with my answer. And the question goes like this. How much money have I spent on the game so far? A lot of people don't like to talk about money, but I'm very open. And I'll give you the answers and why. And before you judge, just hear everything out so we can have a good, a good understanding. I've spent around $2,000, I would say. Um, I used to keep track of it. Not so much because I have a vague idea of how much I spend a week. And you have to keep a few things in mind. Some of you play and are absolutely against the concept of paying Massimo for money. That's absolutely fine. There is no judgment. Some people are there and say, you know what, I'll buy a few things here and there. And then you've got gamers like me who take this very seriously. Although I take it less seriously now. I take it, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've accomplished so much in a game that I'm really trying to share the knowledge and, 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 and share on social media. So it's less playing. It's more focused on the team you've seen with my team's website. So, you know, you've got pay to win, pay to play, and then obviously the scam concepts. I did post a video on this. I do encourage you to watch it. And um, there is also another uh, video, I think, called Managing Expectations, if I'm not mistaken, or something around those lines that talks about money. I, I don't have the title in mind, but it will appear on the screen. So you have to take one thing into consideration. I've been playing this game for 35 months. And when you think about $2,000, you're probably thinking, you know, I made a per payment yesterday of 2000 which is definitely not the case. If you do 2000 divided by about 35 months, you get something like $56, $57. And if you, if you, you know, if you divide that by four weeks on average, that's about $15 a week. Now, as you guys know, I do have, I had, you know, a massive gambling and alcohol problem, which I'm tackling very well and I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with things. So in my perception, if I stay home and I enjoy the game, and I spend $15 a week, well, you know, I could have taken more money and I've definitely taken more money to gamble and so forth. Um, I've caused, an, uh, you know, an extensive amount of damage, especially to my mom and myself with the alcohol. So everyone's got their own monthly budget. Some people will buy movies, some people will buy clothes, some people will go out, some people will get gym memberships, whatever. There's an, everyone has a bunch of money that they spend for whatever purpose they want. For me, it happens to be this game. So I'm quite content with the service Massimo provides me because I'll be very honest, you know, there were many nights where I stayed home instead of doing stupid stuff. And it's probably, you know, saved me a bunch of hassle and trouble. So, you know, for me, I have a business background. I understand that, you know, the good things are not free. Obviously, Massimo sometimes goes a bit far with the scam concepts. There's nothing we can do. I enjoy the game. I've got nothing against it. So I just wanted to touch on this. Also, um, you know, the audience here, you guys are not kids. I've got YouTube analytics. And if you watch my videos, it's obviously means that you, you know, watch it because of the game. So just giving you a quick snapshot here, you know, only 7%, less than 7% are, are, are kids. You've got 39 plus percent who are between 18 and 24. You've got 28.7% who are between 25 and 34. And then the list goes on. So, you know, 90% of people who play this game are adults. So if you're adults, you probably have a job or you have money to spend, you know. So before jumping the gun on, oh, yeah, you spend money, you're an idiot. Well, you know, you need to take a look back and not everyone thinks like you, which is fine. Not everyone has your perception of things. You know, for example, some people might might say, um, you know, I, I, I will go eat McDonald's, um, you know, twice a week. And I will say that's stupid because I hate fast food. But I'm not going to be that, 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 that far ahead to, to, to judge. So this is how much I've spent. 
Um, in hindsight, and I'm going to talk about this on the next question, there's a question about offers that I, I enjoyed the most. My biggest regret in this game is having, you know, purchased a bunch of diamonds to gamble on Scam of the Match. Um, obviously, I did get packs with it, but in hindsight, I would have taken the vast majority and buy packs. It would have been much more productive. So I'm not too keen anymore on 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 providing Scam of the Match videos. I did do it in the beginning, and that was to get views. But um, and the most popular videos are Scam of the Match because most people are by nature addicted to things, and that's absolutely fine. But I want to focus more on providing meaningful insight into the game. Uh, for me, this game has done a lot. So this is how much I've spent and the reasons behind. So I hope you, I hope the answer, were, the, the, the question was answered. So we'll be moving on to the next question now about offers that I purchased and offers that I enjoyed the most. See you then. Right, off to question number six from, this is the last one from Yusuf Sheikh, posted four questions. Um, I will try to answer all questions, but it depends on time, obviously. And uh, if you do have many questions, please do post one or two because I need to allow time for others. So I haven't had as many questions as I will in the future. So just keep that in mind. So question number four, Yusuf asked, what are the best offers in the store that you have encountered? I don't have any favorites, to be honest with you. Ooh. And this is a good thing. It depends on the phase in which you are in. And that, that's very important. What you don't want to do, and I will keep mentioning this, is just purchase offers on the spot with no strategy. That, 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 that's not good. It's, you're wasting money, to be honest with you. So this is why there is a video that talks about expectations in the game, pay-to-win concepts, and season management. Links to both of these will be available in the description below. You really want to know how much you're going to spend, what your objectives are. Are you going to be playing this game in six months, in three months? Obviously, those are questions that are not definite, but something to think about. So... I've had three major phases when I played this game. I've had the stupid phase, which was purchasing diamonds through packs and offers to, you know, waste it away on scam of the match. I regret this up to today. This is something I wish I, I, I hadn't done. Again, I will say, if you're thinking about doing this and, and blowing a thousand diamonds, buy a mega pack. You'll get more things out of it. And uh, that was one phase. The other phase was character upgrades. And I went through a lot of mega pack openings. And um, I think we can we can look at one here if I can find it. This is a one that I purchased a lot, uh, twenty five forty one. It was cheaper at the time. It was nineteen dollars. You got between four and five mega packs, some diamonds, which I used to 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 play scam of the match as well. Got the cards, and um, you know I bought this one quite often. Now on my YouTube channel, I do have a few ones as well. I can't remember them on top of my head. There was one that sticks in mind, twenty two mega pack opening. For me, if a mega pack averages about one dollar, it's a good deal. I talked in last, um, I think, it, yeah, the previous question. I talked about you know having a budget every month, so you need to set that uh, for yourself. Um, this was a good offer for me. There was another one where um, I think it's on YouTube as well. I got uh, I think ten mega packs or something around ten dollars. So this was that phase, and character upgrades now i'm going to manage your cash and you will ask why well because i focus primarily on team season i'm so busy with with social media the podcast which i really want to grow so for me i need to be able to keep the manager going at level eight so i don't really like store offers there's a difference between the market and the store market is top right over here and the store is the actual store button i find that the offers in the store are much more expensive i will go to the store to purchase gold um, if I need an upgrade or if I'm missing a bit of gems you know I have a big bank balance now so I you know I, I buy 270 or 520 so that that that's something that I do sometimes <clears throat> I am not particularly keen on buying gold through the market for a reason is that you know I get two million fans a week I play some matches I play about 40 matches a day so I will accumulate gold using um, double gold boost so not a big fan of buying gold through the through the market Manager cash is absolutely ridiculously expensive. I've bought the $69 one for 7,000 once or twice, I think. And I'm more interested in, in, in 2,600. But like I said, my budget's about $15 a week and I need 500 manager cash every two days. So, you know, do I spend $28 for, for, for that? Well, I can find this one here, you know, $15, I get 3,000 manager cash or I purchase this offer for 1,200 
um, manager cash and I get you know some mega packs I obviously need some diamonds to keep my um, my 300 tickets going and since I've completed all my characters every time I open a mega pack I get 360 plus diamonds so it really depends on the face I have an objective I know what I'm doing I, I don't like to buy skill cards on the market I don't like to buy characters on the market unless they are event characters we spoke about this earlier so I have clear objectives I'm a grandpa of this game I've been playing this since, since, since it came out um, I think I registered two months after the anniversary, as I said in the intro video. So, you know, it's all about having a, a plan. And if I'm going to buy a character, will it be recurring? So I, I wait. So the offers really depend on, 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 on what I'm doing, what my objectives are. I don't just purchase chance cards I bought last time just to show you guys. I'm not being into chance cards. I beat bots. I know how to beat them. So I do check the deals out. Sometimes you will have flash offers. I spoke about this earlier where you know when i was competing for the league you know i bought one offer and this one came immediately after after it's four dollars and 13 cents it's way better than spending all the manager cash to get six times points you know i got the xp is already leveled up so if you're looking at leveling up on xp that could be something that works for you and you know if you see that you play a lot and there are some offers that will save you you know getting oh, spending gems you might want to look into that so um, you need to buy what you need and you need to buy what you are going to use. Don't just purchase to purchase because it's there or you feel like it. It's your decision. It's your money. I'm just trying to guide you. So, you know, I try to focus on event characters and anything that will help event characters. So I hope I answered your question. We're going to be moving on to the next one now. Big ups. All right, let's wrestle question number seven, if I'm not mistaken, which is coming from... Sampat, I'm going to try to pronounce the last name, Prabhu Desai. Hi Pounds, can you tell me the brief differences between three types of scam of the match we can play? Like how are they different in terms of levels of reward we get in them? So I am not going to play scam of the match, unfortunately. Too many videos and too many horror stories. So let's go over a few things. As you can see from the screen, there are three types of matches. And I want to talk to you about entry fees, prizes red cards and then other stuff that you might want to know so for match number one the entry fee is 30 you do have a free round that comes once every 18 hours i believe i think it's 18 hours not 24 it's 18 yeah i don't have it on top of my head and then once you've had that free round it's 30 uh, i must say that the entry fees can change they have changed they have been different in the past uh, on some occasions, they have been 30, um, they have been 45, they have been 60. So it really depends. I think Massimo, once I'm trying to make sure the screen doesn't turn off here, uh, Massimo has probably realized that it's better for them if they have a low entry fee because people by nature are addictive, addicted and they believe that Scam of the Match is going to give them lots of rewards. And that's not true. You do get lots of rewards. But if you average it and you take the progression from, you know, an extended period of time, you lose more than you win. So if you enjoy it, that's absolutely fine. I've learned my lessons and not doing it. So um, entry fee for match two is 30, as we can see here. And match three is 100 emeralds. A few weeks ago, just before team season started, it was in manager cash uh, where you could you win um, fan cards. I think 2000 percent fan cards or whatever. It was in diamond, so it keeps changing, really. So you just have to to, to keep looking at it. And um, in terms of prizes, it's been uh, it's been pretty standard for match one to have mega packs. I haven't seen it change in a long time. Match number two um, usually goes around event characters. Uh, last week was Doom Lord, and interestingly enough, I did play. I had a free round. I wanted to see if I could try to get the the fan card, two thousand percent fan card from Doom Lord. I stopped at round twenty, and then it switched to Sky Master, and you can see here the green tick mark still appears. So that wasn't the Doom Lord. So I don't know. Usually, it it, it might be a glitch. Usually, when there's a new event character, the tick mark won't apply anymore. So this makes you only lose in the end. So I'm not playing this at all anymore. And match number three has been the accessory. Now, I'll be very honest with you. If you look at the accessories that are available, I mean, a round of scam of the match. 
you might have one round where you just have two red cards and you get to the end. But from my experience, having played thousands of these rounds, unfortunately, I would say that the average for reaching the last level can, can vary between 800 and 1400. I go by 1000. If you're going to get to the end, it's going to be 1000. You're going to get 180 red cards. And um, regarding the red cards, you do have a free red card for each round. Uh, don't take it at 30, don't take it at 60, don't take it at 120, take it at 180 is probably better. But you're looking at about a thousand average per round. And if you want to get the Lord Tail accessory, well, it, you know, let's do a thousand emeralds. You can just look at the store, you get 2000 emeralds for whatever the price is. I don't have it in front of me. But if you want to get an accessory, just buy one for $25. It will cost you much, much less. I don't care really for Lord Tail accessories. So that, that's that. Um, I must say that scam of the match is where the majority of players diamonds are lost. I keep saying it again. Do not play it. I only play it if there's something worthwhile. For example, I did mention this in a previous question in episode one. If there is a character that comes out and I can get cards, you know, I'll say, okay, I'll try it. You know, the 2000 uh, fan card and 1000 XP, whatever, the, the, the high level fan card, you're not going to get it. You are not going to get it. Maybe it'll be offered to three or five players, but you're not going to get it. So it's wishful thinking to even try it. Uh, I think the fan card came out, if we look at um, Flash Punk, it's 600,000 manager cash. How much does 6, 600,000 manager cash cost you? I mean, I, I can try to do the mathematics. 600,000, uh, 15,000 costs you 160. So maybe I can try to put it on the screen. It's a ridiculous amount. So you're not going to get it on Scan of the Match. You know, don't, don't, don't be a fool. So this is where the majority of diamonds are going. I have my free round that I play. I stop at 60 or 90. Don't go more. I got the balance now. I'm very happy with my diamonds. And I only play if there's stuff to win. Usually it would be an event character. And if I need skill cards, there's a question coming up later about how to acquire skill cards. I'll go into more details on that. That's pretty much a summary of what's going on in Scam of the Match. Things to remember, the prices, the entry fee can change. Um, you know, sometimes it's payable. It used to be payable in actual dollar amounts or euro amounts. And then they saw that not a lot of people were using it. So now it became back diamonds. It was manager cash. Switched to emeralds. Could be gold tomorrow. We don't know. Red cards for all matches right now. You do get one free red card where you can watch an advert. And the prices have been pretty much standard on, on match one and three, which is mega packs and, and, and some perks. And then the low tail accessory player of the match two is usually for event characters. So that's as at the date of this, this, this episode. So let's move on to the next question now. All right, off to question number eight from Mohamed Matarek. I hope I pronounced it right. I, I'm sorry if I didn't. Um, not always good with um, foreign names. But anyways, let's go on question number eight. So he says, first, I against bot server kicked me out two times in a row, Mr. Pounds. Can you help me? So I can provide you with some guidance. And um, there are a few things to consider. I'm speaking from my experience. Obviously, I'm not a tech guru. But um, let's go into a few a few points here. Um, I'm showing you right now my um, my win streak. Um, you know, at one point it was 2,000. Sometimes when you beat your win streak or when you are close to beating your win streak, the game will disconnect you. I don't know why they do that. For me, it usually happens within 100 matches, I will get one disconnect. But for some reason, a few months ago, it allowed me to get to 2,000. So that could be something. And when it does happen, you might get disconnected two or three times. So after one disconnect, the rule of thumb is to always not play, even if you've accumulated diamonds or if you've engaged boosts or whatever, just don't play for a while. And on the second part, you could be facing a, an internet connection and sometimes you might not even, um, an internet connection problem and sometimes you might not even know that's the case. So obviously some players play on Wi-Fi, others play on 4G. And uh, sometimes, you know, if you're playing on Wi-Fi, it does happen here in Mauritius, it blocks for some reason. So I just have to turn the Wi-Fi off. It resets, then it's good. Usually, if it is Massimo's fault, it will say server maintenance going on. I don't have the screenshot, but you've probably seen it where it says Massimo is updating the, 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 the server. Something along these lines, you will see a, you know, like a triangle with a hammer, a jackhammer. So this is on Massimo's side. If that doesn't appear, it just says connection problem or connection error. You've been disconnected. Um, from the server, it's probably on your end. So we've got the Wi-Fi issue. Just try to reset it, 
and then sometimes you know you might be in a, in a place where you know your your mobile is not picking up the tower signal now interestingly enough i did get disconnected four or five times this season and uh, i was asking myself why and then i figured out my internet connection wasn't working i couldn't update the pork chops website and i saw a communique from mauritius telecom it's a bit small here I mean, you might not see it but essentially they were doing underwater cable repair which means the connection was slow across the island be it for 4g 5g and wi-fi so sometimes you know your internet company might be doing stuff and you're not aware of it so always check that could be a, a, an issue and again on these situations it could be something that you're not aware of or maybe it's not your fault uh, other problem I faced is on game updates. Sometimes the game updates because they add new features on the game. You know, they'll add a store thing or whatever. So check if there are updates. There was an update last week. So I hope that you updated the game. And sometimes the update has to do with actual playing speed, connectivity. So um, I have heard people who did not update the game and it disconnected all the time. So you might want to check on that. Those are a few things to consider. And if you haven't still figured out, I would strongly suggest that you email Massimo. Now, I do have a, a video on my YouTube channel that explains to you uh, how you should email Massimo. It's called how to figure out your player ID, player name request. This is important because if you don't put your player ID in, they won't respond to you. So you can get some insight on there. And I also have a second video that talks about sudden game freeze or disconnect whilst on a long losing streak. This is going back to the first point I mentioned so you might want to take a look at this one very very cool video and on the last resort if that doesn't work you know um, which it should be one of these issues now if you if you are aware of something else please do me a favor and post in the comment section that way i can refer players to to, to your post if you have experienced something i'd appreciate that and on the last resort you want to uninstall the game but you got to be very careful before you uninstall the game you need to make sure that you're connected to google play or apple i mean i've got google so not apple whatever it might be, Google Play, and definitely through Facebook. If you don't do these two steps when you uninstall the game, you will lose your progress. And I have a video that explains how to transfer account to a new device, but the procedure is essentially the, the same. And there is information on that on Massimo's website as well. I am going to try to include the screenshot here. It is very important before you do anything regarding uninstalling the game that you have done these two steps. Lots of players have uninstalled the game before doing that and the entire progress was gone. And even when you do that, you are given an option eventually when you, when, you, when you try to reinstall the game where it will tell you to choose one and choose the other. You have to take your time. You must not rush. You must read the instructions. Check out my video. Check out Massimo's website. This is the last resort. You want to make sure that this is done. Elsewise, you lose your entire progress. So I hope I answered your question. Sometimes it is your fault. Sometimes it's your fault without you knowing it through the internet connection. So I would take a look at all that. And if you uninstall the game and it doesn't work, you know, still try to liaise with Massimo. But it should be one of these. Like I said, if um, if it is Massimo's fault, you will see server maintenance uh, problems or working on server and we'll be right back or whatever. So I hope I answered it. All right, well, that's it. We've gone through episode two. Very happy that we did two. Tune in next week for episode number three. If you've got the questions, post them below. Let's interact. Let's share the knowledge. Obviously, if you watch my YouTube channel, you care about the game just like I do. I've had a pretty bad week this week, personally, but that's all right. I'm, I'm really excited about answering your questions. I'm really excited about this show. I really want to get it going. Do support me by subscribing and liking the video, please. It's very important for me. I see it growing, you know, I have more interest, I do more graphics and I'm trying to get better in it. So I really appreciate the interaction. I really appreciate all the comments. Tune in for next week's Wednesday episode threes of the Headball 2 podcast. I stumbled there, but it's all right. Big ups.